This Knowledge Smart support video will give you a better understanding of the Knowledge Smart test library. We are in the main menu library and submenu Knowledge Smart tests. Here you will find a group or list of the Knowledge Smart off the shelf tests written by Knowledge Smart authors. This list may differ from customer to customer based on your subscription plan. Tests are listed in alphabetic order. You can reverse the list by clicking the ID number or the test name. Use the page numbers here at the bottom to go to the next screen or area of the library. To activate search, click the show search area here at the top and then search via test name, test ID or category tag. It may become necessary for you to group certain assessments together. This can easily be done by clicking Show Groups here at the top, give your group a unique name, and then once that group is created, you will notice the group appear here um, on the left-hand side from the drop-down menu. So let's go ahead and just create a group called Revit Architecture. Let's go and uh, select some Revit architecture assessments that we want to add to that group. Select that group and click Add. So within a couple of clicks, I have now grouped the um, tests together that I want to work with. Let's run through the different icons next to the test name. The first icon here on the left imports the assessment or test to your draft content area. This is important because you will need to take this step if you would like to edit any aspect of the assessment. If you wanted to just take a quick look at a summary of the test, you can click this magnifying icon here and that will then open up that test summary page for you. Here you can look at the test name, description, the module breakdown or modular breakdown, the number of available questions versus the number of assigned questions. The available questions is the question pool and the number of assigned questions is the actual number of questions that the user will have to answer. Here you can look if there is a t time limit um, that has been applied to this test, as well as welcome text or category tags. For more information on editing a Knowledge Smart test or customizing Knowledge Smart library content, please look out for that specific video. Now back to our icons. The third icon allows you to download the data set files linked to the specific tests. The next one on the right downloads all the coaching files. This is of course the coaching material that is associated with the specific test. Please note that not all authors provide their coaching notes as downloads and some display as plain text notes assigned to each question. These can be viewed in the master question CSV export on a per test basis. The next icon here will allow you to view a list of training tags linked to that specific uh, test. So that is of course training tag metadata for all the questions in each test. The envelope icon to the right of that will allow you to invite users to complete uh, that specific test. And the next icon here allows an export of the questions to CSV file format, which of course can be viewed in Microsoft Excel. If for some reason you did not want a specific test uh, to be shown in your library, you can simply select this last icon here. And as you see, that one becomes red. So then it will be removed from, um, 
or disabled from your library. The next support video will focus more on the editing process, so see you in there.